Hello everyone, welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about the upcoming rugby championship match in Australia this weekend in Adelaide in fact between the Australian Wallabies and the South African Springboks. What a game this is going to be. Now the Springboks are coming off that loss to the All Blacks uh, in South Africa so they're traveling now and I think this is going to be a really interesting redemption game for them. In fact this game has redemption written all over it, doesn't it? After the Wallabies got thrashed by the Argentinian Pumas in that last uh, series, last test match in Argentina just two weeks ago. So coming off that uh, loss, the Wallabies are going to be really up for this game. They've had a huge training week in the Gold Coast in Australia. And Dave Rennie and the boys have sat down and apparently there's been a lot of uh, truth telling going on, some open and honest conversations about that performance in Argentina. And they've also brought Bernard Foley back into the fray as well, which is an interesting move after he's been out of the Wallabies team for a couple of years. So bringing in some experience, I think there's no doubt about it. Without Michael Hooper in the lineup, the Wallabies have struggled enormously around leadership, but also about execution on the field. Some of the younger players haven't stood up as much as they have been promised to. And um, I think the Wallabies are a bit shell-shocked at the moment. And they're going to have to be careful because the Springboks uh, coming off that loss to the All Blacks and they're going to want to put that right and uh, I think the Springboks are going to be really up for this tour of Australia. I think they're going to want to have two dominating games. Um, the first one in Adelaide, the second one in Sydney next week and uh, I think we're going to have to watch out how the Springboks go. Who do you think is going to get up for this one? Do you think the Wallabies are going to have it or do you think the uh, Springboks are going to be able to continue their great run of form despite having that loss to the All Blacks? I think that was a very interesting uh, game in South Africa at Alice Park. Um, Joseph Dweeber comes back and he's starting in this test uh, for the Springboks, so that's going to be an interesting one. He, he wasn't playing well with his line-out throwing. Whether or not that's rectified within one week in training, who knows? A um, lot of pressure on him to get it right in this match, I think. And I think we're going to see the South African Springboks back. It's going to be too good for Australia in this match. That's my pick on this. I think the Springboks bring the physicality up front. Um, they're going to win a lot of ball and they're going to be to use that position. And I think playing in Australia on grounds that are hard and fast and, and you know really set themselves up for running rugby, open rugby, expansive rugby, I think we're going to see that for the spring, from the Springboks. And I think the Springboks have got too much power outside wide. Um, and it's going to be interesting what strategy they actually come in to play that game. Because I think if they use that power, if they choose to go wide, I think they can get around and go through Australia quite easily in fact and I can see quite a, a large score coming from the Springboks. However, if they go to the air and they start using that strategy and tactic as a way to break down the Australians, I think they might have some success with that as well but probably not as much as they would if they played the open expansive game. Um, chances are it's going to be a fast track in Adelaide, we'll have to wait and see for what the weather's going to be on the day. But uh, if the conditions do suit itself to an open game of rugby, then I think the Springboks would be silly not to try and dominate with the speed that they have out wide and in the centres as well. Um, I can't really see the Wallabies getting up for this one. I, I think they're in a bit of disarray at the moment. I think Dave Rennie's um, job is becoming a lot more tenuous, as is with a lot of the coaches within the rugby championship at the moment. But... Um, We'll have to wait and see whether they can take it to a fight. I think if the Wallabies have a strong match, even if they lose, um, I think they'll be buoyed by that up against the Springboks, who are, let's face it, the number one team in the world at the moment, and they're playing like it as well. So I think if the Wallabies have a really strong match and get within a couple of points of the Springboks, I think that would be a good result for the Wallabies. But I can see the Springboks potentially putting on a cricket score here. If... Um, if Argentina can put 48 up against the Wallabies, then what can the Springboks do to them? And I, and I am saying that the Springboks are that much of a better team than Argentina. I like Argentina. They bring a lot of good rugby to the fray, and they'll do very well against New Zealand uh, All Blacks this weekend. But I can just see the Springboks having too much class for the Wallabies uh, in this match. So um, no other real standout selections there. I think that both teams are going to go in with... Uh, a bit of experience in the Springboks case, much more experience than what the Wallabies are bringing. And I think that experience, plus with the physicality and their ability to get out wide and penetrate with pace, is going to be too much for the Wallabies' defence. And we'll have to wait and see. So 
Who do you think is going to take this one between the Wallabies and the Springboks on Saturday in Adelaide? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, my pick is the Springboks by 15 to 20 points on this one. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. I'll be back after those games with a bit of a review. And we'll look forward to next week's matches where we see both teams going at it again in different cities in New Zealand and in Australia. Until then, stay well everyone. Thanks very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. And I'll see you again soon in another video. Bye for now.